his thing. Um, and I don't want any of these things. I want that, though. That probably helps. Um, ooh, what is car? Oh my god, I love this. This is amazing. I've never checked this out yet before. This is awesome. You can make it look like a temple weave. Oh god, this is great. The tiles. Oh man. Oh wow. I have not checked this out before. This is so great. The top wall. What? Ah. Oh. The bricks over there. Okay. I, what's horror? Oh, neat. It's like the fucking Bates Motel. Okay. Um, and events. I guess I can put other things in here. So like Fourth of July, Oktoberfest. Put that out there. Um, mid autumn. Ooh. <clears throat> oh my God! This is like so delightful. Um, perks. Order manager. Yeah. We're good. Okay. I don't think I can change anything, but that's good to know. Um, <clears throat> so, let me send out the tweet. Until the kick game starts, I'm gonna see. I just learned that I can, like, decorate the kitchen in certain ways. This is very exciting. Hiya! <clears throat> people are here. Oh, my God. People are here. Great. Hi. Um, so, yeah, there's a big football game happening later, uh, not very long from now. And um, I figured, you know what? Uh, don't worry. I'm not going during the, the game. Don't worry about that. That's not happening. Um, however, I figured maybe people could use some help if they're stuck in the kitchen last last minute um just sending a tweet out uh we are live with uh last minute big game i don't know what i can call it anymore uh tips and recipe ideas on tv slash i stream basically we're just gonna make a bunch of weird stuff because i just felt like i had the crazy idea that i was doing this so yeah, so we're here in the kitchen, and, um, you know, I think th there's a couple of things. When I think of of, of football food, I, I think one thing that I've been, I've been taught is is chili. And so we've got our bucket. We have our meats of choice. Uh, I like to go with a good mix of stuff. Got some beef chuck in here. We're going to put a lot of that in there. Um, yeah, we're going to go with... Um, Burger meat here as well. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead with that. Um, bacon. Bacon in this game. Uh, chicken breast, duck leg, chicken leg. Okay. Um, no ghost peas or these like all. Yes, there is a superb owl that is happening tonight. 
And you know, we're gonna put some sausage in there too. Oh, I love that the sausage just kind of like rests precariously on top of the bucket. Which means there's only one thing I have to do. I have to just like cut. Oh, that's, that's not what I, well, we're putting food on. We're picking our food up off the floor and putting it back in here, I guess. Um, no, I didn't want to put that. Okay, fine. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want. I wanted them. I wanted them to kind of like. <laughs> so uh, we're we're making chili to start things out because chili is a good, it's a good sports food. It can feed a lot of people. We have some burger meat that we're picking up off the floor, some beef shuck, and some precariously balanced sausage. Which I think the only way to fix that is to um, is to just. Yeah, just let it kind of roll its way in, sure. Um, I don't know what is happening with my knife, why she's kind of hovering over the air like that, but, you know, it is. And, um... Switch stacking? No, I don't want that. Can I not, like... Okay, fine, whatever, I don't care. Put it there. So, we've got our meats. Now, we need... <laughs> Watch all of that. I shall not. Now, I think, you know... Obviously, onion. So, we're gonna need some onion going into our bucket. Uh, what else? Yes. Uh, tomato, clearly. I shall not wash any of this. Um, peppers, you know, that's good. Um, people are kind of debating on whether or not you put corn in chili. I think it's fine um, if you want to go for a little bit of sweetness to counteract your spiciness. Oh, by the way, we're going to need a lot of heat. You know chili peppers in here i figure you put the whole cob in there that way you can make corn stock afterwards um that's my thought about that um garlic i know we have garlic somewhere is that garlic oh i don't know why i thought those were shallots as if that was a thing this would have in this game um so yeah so we're looking pretty good so far um we need some fresh herbs because that's clearly important here what do we have here? we have sage leaves chives cilantro dill parsley thyme use some thyme here um as much as i really want to like fill this bucket up with thyme it'd be hilarious i really think forever uh put some oregano in there as well we'll put this on the ground uh and we'll see what else we can add we have our, our spices of course, of course too. Um, we have all the usual spices we're gonna make chili um Or we already have garlic in there, so we don't need... Now, some people put cinnamon in there. I'm not a fan of cinnamon in there, but I, you can. You absolutely can. I'm going to just put a whole lot of chili in there. Um, apparently, I'm putting it literally on the sausage. And, uh, yeah, so we're good with that. And uh, let's see. We can now use our cayenne. Of course, that was what I wanted. Now, cayenne's not that... Cayenne, again, you think cayenne is spicy. Uh, it's not really all that spicy. It, it, kind of brings out flavor usually um so yeah so there's our cayenne and um have up here salt of course yeah well i mean salt kind of just brings out the flavor so we're gonna put no that's not what i want to do on the ground we're gonna put salt in this obviously we're gonna salt that and we're just gonna go for a bank shot um white pepper white pepper you don't want to usually white pepper's got a very distinct do it um so for this i don't know we're gonna stick with just black pepper um not not too much just about like the other like that one cob of corn is just getting saturated with it but again it's okay because we're making corn stock as well so we're doing all of that um and uh yeah so let's see what else we can do now sugar is something we might need in the event that we um, if we make it too spicy. Sugar is always a good kind of, especially when there's tomatoes in there. Now, cumin is, is one of my favorite spices. I love cumin. I love a lot of cumin, so we're gonna put a lot of cumin in there. Um, and now we have our, our ingredients for chili. And I think, uh, to get things started, we need to just go ahead and put some of it into, um, well, the, most importantly, some of our stuff is just not really not really prepped like we can't just take the sausage like that and go ahead and and just put it all in there because you know we want it to cook evenly there's things of all sorts of different um 
all sorts of different sizes. So we got to make it a little bit even. So we're going to take our paella pan here. That's our, our, um, that's our, our, our major, um, High Lions Den Live. Uh, sorry, this is more of an instructional sort of, um, stream right now. Uh, you know, a lot of people are going to be, um, preparing food and maybe need some last minute tips. Uh, I'm happy to suggest any ideas for anyone, um, as, as they may be making a menu tonight as well. So, there we go. There is, oh, good. I'm glad, I'm glad a lot of it just stayed in there. Cool. Neat. Yes. Um, that's exactly what I wanted to have happen, including breaking the television. Cool. So let's just go ahead and get rid of that. Um, guess we're doing this all by hand. So, uh, paella pan, here you come. Um, sausage, yeah, you're going in there. Um, burger patty, yeah, let's do that. Um, I will, you know, I am an artist, and I, I demand that my art be respected. So I shall absolutely, um, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to grab the paella pan, take it over here. We'll pick our meat up off the floor. We'll put it all here in our, um, yeah, in our chopper, and that's going to be great. And we're going to press that. Uh, the, a burger patty apparently did not make its way in there. So that's going to go in there. Get in there, you. And we're going to pick our beef chuck off the floor. And, um, and uh, we are going to just go ahead and put it in there, and we're going to press this until it actually works. I can't believe that actually worked. Um, so, yeah, paella pan, here you go. Oh, no, that's not it. Paella pan, we're going here. Um, now again, we wanna, okay, yeah, why wouldn't I just pick up one piece and not the entire thing? Um, so we're gonna do this again. We're gonna go ahead and pour this all into here. And just, you know, again, there's our meat. We're getting our meat nice and chopped up here. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be nice and good. So we gotta do it another chop here, a fine chop. Um, fortunately, we don't really have a meat grinder in this kitchen, so everything's gonna have to go in there. And, uh, yeah, you know, just kind of spill over like it does, and there we have everything very finely chopped. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this, and we're going to take this over to our stove, and uh, <clears throat> we're working on some chili now. So we have our pot, our big pot. Uh, is this our big pot? That's Oh, that's our big pot. That's, that's just, oh, they're both big pots. Well, you know what? We're cooking for a lot of people, so I think we're going to have to... Um, use this so first things first we're gonna brown our meat in here we're gonna pour about a half of that in here and the other half in, in like there. yeah so that's fine so that's totally fine um now we also have a lot of our um now important thing of course is always your aromatics uh aromatics are things like garlic and onion we don't have time to chop them because our meat is already cooking. So we're just going to go ahead and, and, you know, we're just going to grab a bunch more of them. Um, grab some onions and some garlic. These are our aromatics. Now, you got to watch out. Garlic cooks really quickly. Um, garlic cooks really, really quickly. So the way I find it best to just work with garlic is to really just get it all into, um, into a... Uh, Okay, we're just gonna use the chopper. Uh, so it's all gonna go in the chopper again. Uh, I was gonna use the food processor for, for comedy, but um, I guess it's just going all in the chopper because that's really easy right now. Now again, these are aromatics, so we got a nice chopped up here. Um, you know, because who doesn't like a giant hunk of onion in their uh, in their chili? So there we go. There's some onion and some garlic. We're gonna go ahead and flip it that way. Onion and garlic. There it is. Yeah, of course. And we got it. So oh, there's still some more in there. So we wanna make sure it's in there. And, uh, yeah, so that's the important thing. Now, again, you always have to check to make sure things are salty. Um, I made the slug, uh, made the important thing of taking my salt over here. Ow, oh, our burger meat is, in fact, cooking right now. So we're going to salt everything right in here. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and, now ah, we missed, but that's all right. So, um, we can go ahead and salt not helping again, but, uh, yeah, salt our other pot, okay, there we go, um, now again, I did say cumin, so I do like cumin, that's an important one to grab, uh, I don't know what happened to it, uh, I probably threw it somewhere, um, chili flakes, high end, black pepper, there we go, that's what we got, 
Black Pepper. So yeah, so again, we're gonna just go ahead and Black Pepper, and we're gonna go ahead and add some Black Pepper to this. And just ignore the fact that it's turning red. That just means that, you know, it's red E. I don't know what happened. I don't know why I have zero gravity now. I don't know if that's a thing that I can turn on and off. I'm gonna assume it is. So, okay, now of course we have our tomatoes. Now, um, I don't know why it's deciding to... Okay, cool, our tomatoes are just kind of hovering in the air. That's neat. I love that. Um, cool. That's exactly what I want to have happen. Yeah, let's do that. Um, can I turn the zero gravity off? Oh, I can toggle it. Oh, that's even better. That's even better. Yeah, sure. Let's just... I... No, let's turn it... No, I don't... I want to toggle the gravity off. Why do I have... Why do I have... Why is zero gravity a thing this gives me? Not what I want at all. So, um, tomatoes, get over here. And so what we're gonna do is, I don't understand why all- No! There we go, thank you. Okay, good. So tomatoes are gonna go in to the- Really? Fine, whatever, okay. Tomatoes are going into the food processor right now. We're gonna ignore the fact that everything is cooking at probably a very uncomfortably fast rate. Um, chili flakes, yes. Again, we're going with some tomatoes. Now, some people like to put beans in chili. Don't put beans in chili. Oh, yeah, we want to get some of this corn because it's been seasoned. Um, so the corn's gonna go in there as well. And again, we're gonna make corn stock. Uh, now, corn stock is, is, is an important thing. You're gonna want to save it, reserve it. Yeah, we're gonna put it on the floor because that's what I wanted to have happen. Um, I'm just missing the part. I guess because I'm moving it too much. Um, so, yeah. So there we go. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and puree this. Corn, chili flakes, and all. And, yeah, I love that corn cob just kind of... So that's good. We have the corn cob on top. So we don't want... Because we did, like I said, we're making corn stock as well. So, when we make corn stock, no, we're making corn corn stock, so I want to take that and just get over there, you. Alright, so now we have our tomato base, corn base. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and put some of the meat in there as well. Why not? And so now we're going to add that, and we're going to go ahead and add that into there, and add that into there. And yeah, that's fine. That's totally fine. Let's see if we can get that chunk of meat in. Um, so this is clearly chili that we're making. Um... Now, I did say corn stock. That's going to be a little bit of a side thing we're going to do right now. Obviously, that's going to have to sit and simmer. Uh, so, let me find another pot. Because, again, we want to make corn stock. Because, again, that's something you can use in everything. Corn stock is just a really important thing to uh, to include. And, uh, oh, yeah, I totally want to put my... There we go. Yeah, so we're going to fill up some water here into this pot. And into that, we're going to go ahead and take our corn... Um, the ones off the floor are fine, again, and just put some corn, yeah, just want we just want to put it directly, like, on top of it, because I think that's probably what we're going to do, it. Why, the, why the hell, exactly, yeah, and we'll turn on that, and we'll see if any of this actually makes sense, of it. yeah, thank you, that's exactly what I wanted to have happen, that is precisely what I wanted to have happen, it does put the best on top, it absolutely puts the best on top, I can't believe that worked! All right, so our chili is looking good. It's looking burnt, but fine. Because uh, again, remember, char the mylar effect. That's that's what's telling you that you you're. Um, so now we're gonna combine everything here. So we're gonna go ahead and because you know I think we need our big pot here. So there's all of our yeah. Mmm, isn't that just good? Um, so again, we're gonna put this on the heat and actually we're gonna go ahead and take this and yes, exactly what I wanted to do. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just pour all of our water and our corn into there and get that out of our life. Um, pick our corn up off the floor. This is good. We want that. And we can put that in there. And again, we're making corn stock. So again, we're gonna we're gonna reserve that liquid, and that's gonna make for a tasty just additive. It's gonna add so much flavor. Um, of course, we also do have chicken stock. I think it's in here somewhere. Oh, get you are just a problem. Go away. Um, yeah, the Mylard effect is an important thing. Coconut milk, sour cream. There we go. Chicken broth. I'm so glad we have sour cream because I was worried about that for a second. I was worried I was going to have to make my own sour cream. So again, we have, uh, oh, tilted. Oh, so we're going to add some chicken broth. Again, that's not too much there. Just throw it there. 
and we have these barrels of beer. So we're gonna go ahead and just add some beer. Um, I don't know how, I don't know why I picked up the barrel, so let's just go ahead and get rid of it. There we go, that's, that's, that's another time for that. Uh, so we have two types of beer, I don't know what either of them are. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and... Advanced controls, okay, move it vertically, we're gonna rotate it. Cause, we are going to go ahead and add our... There we go. There we go. And, uh, I want to move it vertically, and we're going to add our beer right there. Yeah, so let's open the bottle. And there we go. There's our beer into the thing. Exactly. And we can go ahead and try to bank it in. Not close enough. Yeah, we're going to go ahead. We're going to want that in there. It's going to be in there for flavor. Um, yeah, just kind of meticulously, like, Hanging out on top like that. Yes, I love that. Why is that a thing? Why is the gravity? Oh, cool. That's exactly what I wanted. So yes, the gravity. Perfect. So now we're really getting this a fine, a fine chili. We can take it off the heat. We don't want it to burn too much, despite the fact that it's been burning for a while now. Uh, we're gonna take our immersion blender. Um, I don't know why I unlocked zero gravity, and I don't know how to make it go away. Um, all I know is I have this. And I want to, no, I don't want to put the immersion blender in there, but I want to turn it on. And I want to back, yeah, there we go, exactly, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and immersion blend the hell out of it. And, you know, we've got all the meats in there. The meats are nice and browned and cooked. we got the onion and the garlic. This is going to make for a nice, fine chili. Um, don't be afraid to leave some chunks in there. You know, it's fine. You can do that. And, um, you know, we're going to be plating this in a second. So there we go. I think that's pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and toss that into our deep fry. Oh, wow. That, I will never be able to do that again if I tried. That's amazing. <laughs> and so now we're ready to plate our chili. So, um, we don't have any rice in this kitchen, so I'm going to have to make do. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a couple plates here. Now, um... You know, I'm not too, I'm not too particular about, about my chili. I, I like a good chili mac, okay? I like a good chili mac, so, um, while we don't have rice that we can use here, we do have pasta. And so, I find the best way to really get all that, now, again, pasta is, is lovely, it's starchy, we have, fus we have fusilli, which is a long, thin pasta. I think it's a little bit spirally, if I get that correct. We also have penne, which is like our little, like, tube with, uh, with like, yeah, you can see it right on the box. Now again, I think the important thing about penne is all the starch. Pasta's great for the starch, and that'll soak up so much of that, so much of that chili. So we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and put them in. Now again, that's where all the starch is. So we're gonna go ahead, and apparently I've just emptied out an entire box of penne. So we're gonna go get some fusilli as well. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and just put it right on there raw. Um, right on there uncooked uh you know the more you get the more you get the pasta on the plate the more th that's because all the starch is still in there all the starch is still in that pasta and you don't even, you even save time if you if you need like a quick recipe uh on a, on a weeknight you know you just go ahead and get some bang the gong oh, i thought it would make a better noise and there you go now here you go now you have oh i didn't want to put it on there i wanted to like plate this there we go, yeah. So, okay, so there, now we're gonna start adding some of our chili, uh, to this plate. Yeah, there we go, yeah, exactly. Exactly what I wanted to have happen. Precisely that, there we go, yes. Good. Um, and, again, you know, the nice thing about, about that, all that starch in the pasta is that's gonna get soaked up in that liquid. Now, again, we have our corn, our corn stock now. We can take that, we can get these, um, yeah, we can put the box of pasta in there, too. Why not? Um, we can take our corn, we can just get it completely out of our lives, um, and we can just use now the stock, which has all that corn flavor in it. And we can do that, and we can, uh, someone give me a heads up if the game's gonna start soon. I don't care, personally, but, um, you know, so... Got some chili again. I think I might have just used all my corn stock on that. Whoops. 
but uh, you know, there we go, and there we go. Yeah, so that's fine. Um, and the last thing, there's two items you cannot have without chili. I like sour cream. I wasn't saying you need sour cream, but I think it adds a nice little bit to add to the spice. Um, so you can get your sour cream in there a little bit. There you go. A little bit right there. You can really get your sour cream in there and apparently keep it from pouring. That person wants is going to get a lot of it. And again, some sour cream. Exactly. No, sour cream's great. I understand. You know, some people don't want it to be too creamy, too, um, too, um, you know, too, too mild. They like some spice in their chili. Now, again, the last thing we have is cheese. Now, obviously, people will grate cheese. I think it's best to just put the whole block on there and let it kind of just work, and it's, it's more rustic that way. Um, it absolutely is far more rustic that way, and I think if you just put a block of cheese right on there, then that makes your chili really just pop and you don't even have to cut it and if you if you feel that it's you know a bit overkill you can take some of it away but i think this really is oh god that a piece of broken glass just really needs to get on there it's sure just like that yeah exactly um just right there. yes exactly that's what i wanted to have happen precisely that and there we have a nice dish of chili. So that is our first dish that we're gonna make, we, we, we've made tonight. So there we go, a nice dish of chili. Now, again, uh, other things. Um, other things in, you know, I don't think this is gonna help us, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. There we go, yes. Um, so again, our trusty bucket will help us out here. Um, now, other, other, any sort of other suggestions people want for like, Good, good big game football foods. Uh, I'm gonna go get myself another soda so I'm not like struggling to breathe and drink. Um, but if anyone else has any other suggestions of things they'd like to have um, made, uh, by all means. Wings, of course, wings. I was gonna do potato skins, I could do that next. Uh, but wings, Now, wings are like a quintessential uh, football food. They're they're handheld. They're uh, yeah, good call. We need to like clean our station first. Let's just kind of get rid of it that way and just kind of move everything away. And exactly what I wanted to have happen. Yes, that. There we go. Perfect. So thankfully, we have some chicken wings in here. Now, a lot of times you'll need to cut them up. Uh, where are the chicken wings? Pork chops, chicken legs. I know we have wings in here. Uh, they might not be in the fridge, but they know we, I know, I know they're in the game. So we're gonna have to go ahead and get our chicken. Um, can I not do that? Fine, whatever. Um, alright. Uh, chicken. Yes. Oh, cool. Is it gonna just let me do this, like, one at a friggin' time? Because that's super. Uh, well, that's fine. Let's go ahead and put it right there for a second. Um, set up our bucket. Of course, we want a lot of chicken for this. Um, crouch so I can actually see this. Um, yeah, and again, uh, I don't know where our, there we go, again, cool. So again, chicken wing, and then we're just gonna keep putting them in this bucket. So we're just gonna do one order, which, uh, so I just got an air fryer, actually. Oh, cool, I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I did that. That is totally something I wanted to do. Um, so we're gonna get uh, put about eight wings in here. Now I just got an air fryer actually, and I love it. Um, it really just makes things really nice and crispy. It's basically convection, which again they're nothing they're nothing new or fancy, but they do encourage you know healthier eating in in the option in, instead of an option of frying. Now the most important thing with wings is to marinate, and so we're gonna go ahead and marinate them. I'm gonna get a basic marinade going here. Uh, we're gonna find some, now there's a lot of things where, okay, we're gonna get like some cooking oil. So, uh, I'm gonna do some olive oil here. Olive oil, yep, and we're just gonna go ahead and let that get in there. That's good, just marinate that in there. We're just gonna pour the whole bottle in, because, you know, this is our marinade. Exactly. So, there we go there. Um, uh, rice vinegar balsamic. 
wine vinegar. We have uh, clarified butter. We're going to keep that eye on that later. Um, red wine, honey, white vinegar. You know, I think honey is a good marinade as well. Actually, we're going to save that for a sauce. So we're going to do, uh, uh, we'll do some soy sauce. This will add some salt content to it, as well as a little bit of flavor, because, you know, that's what you get from the sauce. So we're just going to go ahead and pour all of that in there and go ahead and get rid of it. So there we go. Um, we also have, of course, rice wine and sesame oil. Peanut oil, we could have used that for our fryers. Um, so most importantly, another thing we wanna do is we wanna get our fryer ready. So we're gonna start our fryer up. Um, we're going to fill it with oil and turn it on. Oh, that's drain. I don't wanna drain. I wanna fill it with oil. So there we go. Um, yeah. And so our chicken is now, now marinating. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put some spices in here as well. Actually, we wanna, we wanna use a couple of uh, chili peppers as well to, <clears throat> to marinate these, uh, to marinate these. So we're gonna put a couple of chilies, um, jalapenos, if, uh, as far as Scovilles go, those will be a little bit, uh, the dried chilies will bring out a little bit more of the, uh, you know, sure, why not a couple pieces of these broken plates in there as well, um, you know, sure. I don't understand why gravity isn't, isn't working. Yeah, let's just get rid of gravity on that one. Why is gravity doing this? I don't understand what's happening. Oh, cool, things just started. That's that's lovely. I don't know what is happening. I don't understand. Okay, there we go. I'm so confused as to what turns it on and off. But, um, and again, some garlic. We're gonna go, we're gonna marinate with some garlic. Oh, well. So, again, normally we'd just kind of, like, let this go for a little bit. Oh, cool. One of the only things we have left is balsamic vinegar. So, yeah, sure. We'll put that in there um, as well. In fact, put it on the ground, take our balsamic vinegar, and give it a nice throw. There we go. Yeah, we got some of that in there. Um, chili flakes. Yeah, let's go ahead and put that in there as well. A lot of chili flakes. Why not? I don't know what's turning it on and off, and I'm not a fan of that. So, again, we have our... Oh, cool. That's lovely how some of them just end up on the floor like that. That's exactly what I wanted to have happen. Yes. Um, so, we have our bucket now. Our wings are marinating. Um, the frame rate is not loving life. We're just going to go ahead and... Why is this here? Did it not, like... What happened here? Oh, my God. What's happening? What's happening? Well, I think all my chicken is now in the wrong fryer, or is it on the floor? Um, none of this is the game. Okay, thank God. So, okay, we've got our chicken now, and we're going to go ahead and pick it up off the floor for some reason. It's, again, not... Why is none of this, like, this game is not working right now? So we're going to go ahead and... Um, so, yeah, and normally, I mean, it's pretty simple. You just throw them in the fryer... And you're golden. Uh, I don't know why this is... What happened to my... Oh! Oh, because I left the stove on. Um, and all my food is still just kind of like doing that. So, I don't know why I can't pick things up now. But anyway, yeah. So, we're going to go ahead... Yeah, we'll just go ahead and kill the gravity and see... So, we're going to we're gonna load... We're going to go and start a new game because this is... again all right so that's how you do wings now the next thing i think we're gonna do is potato skins now i love potato skins and i'm glad we have um i'm glad we have um uh sour cream in the game because i would i would have had to figure out how to make sour cream and i don't want to do that you leave that stuff for um you leave that stuff for alton brown to kind of science up so now we have a nice new clean clean, clean kitchen and again that's the trick to keeping kitchen kitchen clean is by uh, getting rid of the old one. I don't know why this isn't working right now. Um, what is happening? Why is this game doing weird things right now? Um, game's not letting me pick things up right now, which is really annoying. And we're going to figure that out. Okay, so long reach, heat proof gloves. Uh, and close it. I, I'm, not, I'm not able to pick anything up. I don't understand it. Um mouse or game so bear with me here we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna <clears throat> i'm still here don't worry about it um 
I'm going to have to close this game for a second and open it back up <clears throat> and hope that it all works. Yeah, I do love that the game just says mixture. So, uh, hi, I don't know who's all watching and why, but thank you for watching. If you, uh, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and give a follow. I usually do like sports parody stuff. I've currently got a youth football, college football sort of thing coming. Um, if you saw some of my tweets recently, you maybe saw that there is a, um, Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and point this out, by the way. They're doing a baking version of this soon, so oh my god. Um, I'm very excited about that. Um, and so, um... If you saw some of my recent tweets, you may have seen that there is a, um... Th that I'm doing a, uh, a neural network generated soccer team thing. And I can't wait for that as well. So, potato skins. Okay. First things first we need to uh use our oven and we are going to go ahead and get a baking tray and we're going to go ahead and get our potatoes we have red potatoes we have lemons we should have there we go there's our potatoes we're just going to put a bunch of potatoes on here now you notice that they've already been peeled um these potatoes have already been peeled that again is just helping because for potato skins, now we don't even have to worry about the skin part. They're just potatoes that we're going to dress up. So, again, we can go ahead and use our knife here on these. And uh, is it not going to let me do this because of a... Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. That's exactly what I want to have happen. Just have it all... Do I got to use a cutting board? Is that what's going to happen here? Fine. Okay. Um, all right. Get on there, you. Um, that there. We've got a couple of our potatoes here. And we're going to go ahead and just give a nice little chop of these potatoes until we basically get, like, the edges. So clearly we're being very careful about what we're cutting. Uh, we're trying to cut them long ways, like that, exactly like that. Yeah, so now we have a couple, uh, basically like little potato boats. Um, you know, be very careful when cutting. Make sure you always, always, always cut on a cutting board. Uh, no matter what, never point the knife directly at you. Um, just always use a cutting board. Very important. And, um, you know, then we can go ahead and we can, uh, yeah, load our, load our tray. So there we go. Um, excellent. And put our cutting board on the floor in case we need it later. And put this back onto the tray. Sure, just like that. Exactly. Now, they're not ready to go in yet. They need to be seasoned first before they start getting brown. So we're going to go ahead and put them down here. We need our seasonings. Now, we're going to go ahead and use clarified butter, okay? Clarified butter has uh, a medium-sized smoke point. We don't want to use olive oil. Very low smoke point there. But we're going to use clarified butter and just coat these in butter. Exactly, yeah. And that's just so nice. You know, there's a book called Salt, Fat, Acid, Heat. Um, that is our fat content, exactly. And uh, salt, of course. we got to salt the potatoes. Um, we're going to salt them before we head in, before we, they go in. Again, we're going to go ahead and just salt all these potatoes. Yeah, and there we go. Salt them nicely right there. And it's ready to go into our oven. And we're going to go ahead and put them in, you know, uh, apparently have to pick them back up off the floor along with the clarified butter that we just spilled. Because, you know, that's a thing we want to do. Um, can I pick them up more than one at a time? Apparently, can I? Ah, there we go. Yes, pick more. I want to pick them all up and just put them on my tray. Thank you for letting me do that. Good lord. Um, oh, and there we go. We can put this into our oven. The door is apparently coming off. Oh, that's lovely. Not what I want. All right, we've got our potatoes in there. We're going to go ahead. Now, we're going to get our stuff ready for a little, like, uh, for our, 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 our ways that we can dress them. Now, again... We got sour cream. That is like a quintessential thing in our, in our, in, 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 in you know, you can't have uh, potato skins without sour cream, without cheese, without all sorts of things like that. So we're going to go ahead and get some cheese as well. Um, got some cheddar, putting that in there. Can't go wrong with cheddar. Can't go wrong with cheddar. And just to be safe, open that up. And we've got some gorgonzola as well. I think that's going to add a nice little bit of uh, tang to it. It's a blue cheese, so that means there's mold in it. Um, not, and again, if you have old moldy cheese, 
you put a you put a, a cheese where it's supposed to have mold on it, and no one can tell the difference. Um, yes, we clarified that there was butter in that bottle. That's why it's clarified butter. Now our sour cream is gonna also go in here. Um, now our sour cream again is we're just gonna go ahead and pour it all in there. So what we're doing now is we're gonna go ahead and kind of make it into a sauce. So we've got uh, milk as well. And we're going to go ahead and just pour our milk into there. Because we want to get it nice and creamy. And go ahead and throw there, there. And that's our milk. And we can go ahead and... Yeah, I think one of the things we want to do now is we want to... Put all this in here. Sure, why not? Let's just see if that works. That's not what I intended to do, but cool. Let's try for it. Um, yeah, let's do that. Uh, okay. Um, come on. A little closer hit the button there we go we've chopped our cheese put that all there precariously um food processor there we go so now we're going to kind of blend all this um yeah just get a little bit of it in there exactly that's what i wanted yes exactly our potatoes are probably fine or maybe they're not i don't know but we're making a cheese sauce we're going to kind of just we're gonna make it a little bit easier so we can just dress the potatoes so you can just grab them and go. You don't have to worry about taking time to make your baked potato as, or your potato skins as you so choose. Of course, we have our spices. We are cutting the cheese on stream. Absolutely. Uh, we're gonna get some chives. Lots of chives. I'm just gonna keep pressing this until this thing is full of chives. Um, hope everyone's enjoying this. Um, I never made the wing sauce because the game was kind of screwing up. But, you know... Uh, just so you know, I fully plan on doing something silly with this game, uh, and you're going, what? You mean you're going to do something silly? You're already doing something silly with it. Yes, I know. Um, I'm going to do a cooking competition show, like an Iron Chef style thing with this game. Uh, so there's a lot of chives in there. We need to really pack that down. Now, again, put it on our container on the ground. Um... What other do things do we need for our potatoes? We're not going to worry about the fact that they need to be... Um, the potatoes are still in the oven. Uh, hmm. Oh, we have... Uh, nice, we have water. That's good. Uh, in case we need that. Well, I guess that's good for any fire. Uh, let's see. So we've got uh, white wine. No, we don't really need to do that. We don't need to do that stuff. Um... So we've got eggs, strawberries. Let's see if we have anything else we can add in here. Lemons, limes, some mozzarella. We could have always used that. But I think we're good with what we got. Oh, yeah, I totally wanted to just put that one chive into there. Thank you. Um, but yes, do please. Um, do please follow this stream if you if you are interested. We have a lot of videos on the, I have a lot of videos on the YouTube of all the stuff that I normally do here. There we go, and now we have our um, our sauce to adorn these horribly burnt potatoes. As you can see, our potato skin. Yes, um, get a nice crunch on them, and um, you know, just to make sure, we're gonna fill up our fryer and we're gonna turn that on. And we just go ahead and, yeah, add that right there. That's what we're doing and artistically put one piece right there. So now we have everything on here and we can go ahead and give it a good deep fry. And now it's in the deep fryer. It, try that again. Come on. Pour that all in. Okay, come on. Thank you. There we go. Excellent. And get that. So that's nice and that's frying for us. Um, again, we want it burnt, uh, nicely there, so we can get our plate, um, eggs, so. we have it, yeah, so I can do that, I can put in there, so there we go, so we can go ahead and take our potatoes, now it's important to just reach right in there, you want them nice and fresh right out of the fryer just reach in there with your bare hands grab those potatoes right on the plate um 
again, you know, it, it's important to kind of have a theme to your Super Bowl party. Oh, sorry. Oh, my God. We're going to get sued. Uh, again, when in doubt, add cheese. Cheese makes everything better. You can add a whole brick of cheese. We did that for our chili. We do it again here, and we suddenly have, you know, that. We're going to get some fresh chives. We grab a piece of that, and this is, of course, just, you know, to more artistically place it. But, uh, you know, we're going to go ahead and look at that there. And uh, that is our potato skins. Um, again, we can always grab more sour cream if we need it. Um, and we can go ahead and just add some sour cream to that. And there we go. And that is potato skins. That is potato skins right there. Potato skins for your party. So, uh, let me see what time it is. It is almost time for kickoff. We're going to do one really quick thing here. Um, one last thing here. Uh, you know, dips. Dips are important. Um, you know, dips are, are a key thing for any, any, any football gathering. Any sort of football gathering. Um, dips are so important. So, uh, again, we used all our sour cream. We're going to grab our sour cream off the floor wherever I left that. Um, there it is. Yeah, so we're going to get our bucket again. Again, because it's important to just use, you know, something you know. Oh, that's great. Okay, that's what I wanted to have happen. Yeah, exactly. Um, bucket. There we go. Because we're going to make a lot of this, because we're going to have a lot of people over. So, we're going to go ahead and make our dip here. Okay, so sour cream. A lot of sour cream here. Sour cream's a good base. Uh, it's creamy. It's it's tangy. Um, it's very versatile. Uh, you know, it's one of those things I feel like after you become an adult, you're like, oh, that piece of needs some more of it. Um, let's get some more sour cream. Then. Uh, let's see. Yes. Liquid, of course. The liquid. Uh, and uh, sour cream. So dips are nice because you can just make them in large quantity. Um, you can make them in large quantities. You can make them ahead of time. You can make them, you know, and, and put them in the, uh, you know, put it in the uh, in the fridge and have it for later. Um, now, normally we want to. Uh, now, this is this is gonna sound a little awful, but we're gonna make we're gonna add mayonnaise to this dip as well. Now, we don't have mayonnaise in this kitchen. But we have the ingredients for mayonnaise. So we have eggs. Mayonnaise is not a very versatile thing. And there go our eggs. Um, so we're going to get a couple more eggs. We're just going to pick them up off the floor. Oh, they're already broken. Well, um, sure, eggshell, eggs. There are our eggs. Um, anyway, we're going to get our eggs again because that's a thing that you have to deal with. Um, you know, a couple eggs. Uh, obviously some salt, wherever our salt is, sugar, starch, ooh, we do have starch, which always helps, we can add our starch to that, we have some broken bottles here, it looks like, um, you know what, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put these broken bottles in here, because it's important to clean up your kitchen, I don't know why they're just kind of hovering over there like that, but they are. Um, uh, we're going to add some starch to this. Because mayonnaise is thick. And so starch is a thickening agent. And so that's going to be that. So we're going to add a lot of starch to this. Just the whole thing of starch. Just in there. Just put it all in there. And it's great. So again, mayonnaise is not very complicated. It's, it's egg, salt, vinegar. Uh, we can't seem to find our salt at the moment. I think it's up here somewhere. There's our white pepper. Oh, no, the salt. I must have used it. That's the starch. I just need that. Um, is that my salt? My salt's somewhere, right? It's important to have a clean kitchen. I can always get it. There we go. Let's do that. Uh, spices and salt. So, yes. So, yeah. Mayonnaise is actually a very simple thing to use. Make just egg. It's an emulsifier. It's a thickening agent. It's it's it 
adds flavor. It adds a lot of things. So we're gonna add a little bit of garlic, dried garlic to this. Um, and of course we're gonna add some vinegar, wherever that is. Uh, wine vinegar, rice vinegar. I guess we don't have regular vinegar. So we're just gonna get, oh wait, no, we, yeah, we do, sorry. Um, we have white vinegar up here. There's our white vinegar. So yeah, so we're gonna use our white vinegar. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and add our vinegar. Get a good amount in there. Because we're making a lot of mayonnaise. Um, and I think that's the most of it. That's, that's the basic of, you know, again, it always helps to have a little bit more fat content to it. So we're going to grab our, um, oh yeah, we need lemon juice. Of course, lemon juice. Yeah. Um, again, you know, I'm not really much of an Alton Brown type to be like sciencing stuff around here. But, you know, I figure you kind of just you eyeball it and you're making your own mayonnaise here. And uh, what am I looking for? It was, um, what was it? Uh, vinegar. <clears throat> oh, yes, my clarified butter. Yeah, to get some extra, to just get some extra um, fat content in there. Um... Cause I mean, hey, it's it's the it's you know it's the it's the big game. You know, you don't you don't eat like this all the time. So there we go. So now we have basically mayonnaise, more or less mayonnaise, kind of mayonnaise. Um, and we're gonna add this to our dip, right? We're just gonna mix it all in there, and there, just get it all in there. Yeah, the whole thing in there, exactly. Um, now you can do a lot of things with that. We can do uh, we can add some jalapeno to it. Make it like a nice jalapeno dip. Um, you know, you can put some, you can put some some veggies in it too. Um, I'll put some peppers and some onions in it. And again, when it all cooks down, it kind of just, you know, when we kind of mash it all together, a little tomato, a little bit. And I think, uh, oh yeah, we want to definitely get some lemon zest in there. So a lot of lemons in there. So this is going to be a nice, like a really nice, uh, festive dip. And this is good. This is like a lighter dip. This is a lot heavy, uh, you know, get some, all these heavy foods. You want some vegetables in there. You want to be like, hey, look, I'm eating healthy here. And of course, uh, scallions. Scallions are such a great thing to use. They're really great. And, um, they're just really versatile and they just add a nice, like, extra pop of flavor to, uh, to any dish. So, uh, we're going to grab some beer. Uh, we're going to add some beer to this. And we're gonna go ahead and just, oops, and pour that beer into there. And we'll just go ahead and shoot. There we go, yeah. Um, so again, we have all that. Um, we have all that ready to go. And the nice thing is we don't really need to do anything else with it other than just kind of you know, make it into a dip. So again, we're gonna get our immersion blender here. And we're gonna go ahead and use it and just kind of, kind of mesh everything together. Exactly, yeah, let's get everything in there. And let's hope that it works. This will get all the eggshells, because again, that's where all the protein is in the egg. Um, in the eggshells. And um, yeah, we can go ahead and do that and uh, I can't believe some of you are still watching. Thank, bless you for that. Um, and there we go. And just in case they need to, we'll put the blender in there as well. So now um, we have our we have our paella pan, and we can go ahead and we can add this dip to our pan. And now it's a dip, exactly. And we just go ahead and get rid of our bucket, and we're good. And again, as is customary, you know, again, you want to have a theme. You know, Green Bay's not playing tonight, but if Green Bay was, this would be a heck of a theme. Just go ahead and put a whole block of cheese in the middle. Now, I like to present everything really nicely. Um, so, of course, what we need is some bread to dip into this beautiful, beautiful, uh, healthy, healthy dip. So, we're going to get some bread. And first things first, we're going to... Um, I'm going to make sure this is still on. Excellent. Get our fryer basket here. And we're going to go ahead and take our knife. And this will be the last thing we do before you guys can enjoy the game. And we've got our bread. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just cut nice little pieces of bread here. Just go ahead and do it. 
how you want to do it, whatever. Just nice, make, very finger food. That's the important thing. It's all finger foods. So you don't want anything that's too tough to really grab at. You want things to just kind of like be manageable. So there we go. We've got all of that, our bread. And we're going to give this a nice little fry. Our dip is so super healthy. You know, there's so many vegetables and just good nutrients in that dip that we can go ahead and we can add our... We can add, we can fry this bread. Exactly. Fry this bread and we can now put it right in here. Why is it not letting me do that? There we go. And it can go in there. Now again, we're going to go ahead and take our dip. Take our knife because that's important to this. Um, it's also important to like just to make everything look really nice and presentable. So again, and grab some of our uh, nice little cilantro leaves. Now, I know people who don't really like cilantro. Uh, I've learned it's kind of like a genetic thing. So, look at that. It looks just so nice, that cilantro on there. We're going to grab it one leaf at a time, because that's the important thing, um, is to put it one leaf at a time on there. Um, I also like bay leaves. And bay leaves are cool, because bay leaves are, are a really good soup ingredient. They, um... That was not what I wanted to do. Um... There we go. And we're going to put the bay leaves in there. The nice cool thing about bay leaves is you can always find them in soup because they don't break down. And that includes if you ingest them. They don't break down. You can, like, easily, you know, bay leaves will just kind of stay as in that form. So, you know, you, you're supposed to discard them from soup. We're going to add them in for flavor um, because it's a great flavor agent here. And there it is, right on, t right on the top there. There we go. Um, and again, I'm going to go ahead and just, there we go. It's right in there. So our bread, our fried bread is probably... There we go. Perfect. Now that's how you want it. Now you can just grab it and dip. And so again, we're going to do that. Um, and we can go ahead and just add our fried bread right to it. So now you can just reach in there, grab some, and have a, and go ahead and dip. Now again, we're all about being healthy here, so we're going to grab some really healthy vegetables. We're going to grab some carrots. I'm going to grab a plate right here. I want to get a couple. I want to get some carrots. I want to get, uh, yeah, we can do some zucchini, some broccoli. Raw broccoli is always good. Um, and of course, we want to get some parsley. And I like to, you know, one of my favorite things to dip into any dip is, um, is, uh, is horseradish. So we're just going to get some nice horseradish root right here. And we're going to pick it all up off the floor. It's not supposed to happen. Um, so here we go again. All right, let's try this again. No, why are you giving me zero G? Stop it again. Why is it doing this? I don't want zero G. Ah. There we go. Uh, broccoli. Cucumbers. Horseradish. Ginger. Why not? Um... You know, whatever you want to really dip in this. And again, you can just kind of, and it's all, and sometimes just have fun with your plating. Have fun with it. You know, just go ahead and just leave it all in there. And, you know, in that way, if people get interested in, you know, there you go. And there you have your, there it is, right there. And there is a lovely dip you can serve to anyone at your Super Bowl or whatever other party. And, you know, so that's it for us. Enjoy the game. This is, I'm Brian. If you like this channel, give it a, uh, give it a nice little follow, please. Um, I do a lot of, I do a lot of fun stuff on this channel. Um, and, um, yeah, thank you all for watching. And, uh, enjoy the game tonight. And, uh, we'll be doing more stuff on this channel. I do a lot of parody sports. Check out all the links. Give us a follow. Check us all out. We'll see you next time.